Hello all. Today we have a special guest. His name is Danish, assistant manager working in Nabad. This year Danish got through civil service exam, got 487 rank. And specially Danish is from Kerala working in Hyderabad, Nabad. Very happy to see Danish with his success. And many students think that while working we cannot achieve success. Danish is a live example of success in spite of his hectic schedule every day. Let us interview Danish and ask his schedules and how he has prepared. And most of the times he did not get even time to attend any coaching also but still he planned properly his time and attended. So let us ask Danish the proper questions and get some answers which will inspire, inspire us. Hello Danish, congrats for your rank. Thank you Madam. And I am very happy that you are working and uh, prepared for civil services. Uh, what is your experience in NABAD? Why you have decided to write civil services examination? Uh, actually, I started uh, preparing in 2013 itself. Uh, so, uh, after getting into uh, NABAD in 2016 also, I continued uh, civil service preparation since uh, I had actually done almost 70 to 80 percent of my preparation, at least I thought so. Before coming to NABAD itself, I had uh, attended interview twice. So after coming to uh, Nabad and work, started working there, I could find that I, I can uh, find uh, some time, uh, I can spend some time on preparation on a daily basis and uh, luckily I had a uh, five day week uh, work schedule. So Saturday and Sunday I could uh, uh, spend uh, completely on to preparation and uh, as you know, uh, mains preparation requires a lot of uh, answer writing and also answer writing I completely scheduled uh, during Saturdays and Sundays and uh, I could uh, get the feedback also according to my test series. So, uh, so that was my uh, schedule uh, while working. Actually, Danish worked in Nabad and still working in Nabad. He is from Kerala but got a Hyderabad posting. Here I wish to tell you few things about Danish. Generally, people think that if you do some job, you cannot prepare for civils. You cannot sail in the two boats at the same time. But Danish proved that he can succeed and he has succeeded while working. So, what? how many hours he allotted for studies every day? How he has planned the day while working? And most of the students, even though they will get 24 hours of time in their hands, they will really find difficult to manage time. But Danish, how he has managed time? What is his day schedule? While working, how he has planned his time? And what made him to, to be very, very successful uh, is perfect planning. But we need to know about his plan. Danish, can you tell your plan? What is the day schedule? How many hours you sleep? How many hours you work? And after working, after having a hectic schedule as assistant manager in Nabad, how you manage your time? Uh, madam, it's a very uh, very personal choice actually how we uh, schedule our uh, day-to-day uh, uh, preparation and all. So uh, I am a person who wakes up a uh, little early. Uh, uh, normally I do like I, I do like that. You know, uh, even before uh, civil service examination preparation started, I used to uh, wake up a little early than other uh, other uh, other classmates actually. Uh, so uh, during my preparation days, what I used to do is I make it a point to spend some two to three hours before going to office itself. Uh, I uh, start to office by around 8:30, 8:30, 8:45. So uh, before that itself, by around 8 o'clock, I make it a point to spend at least uh, 2 to 3 hours in front of the book uh, so that uh, I do not uh, lose any uh, time and I spend uh, the high time of our day uh, in front of the book or in front for my preparation where, which I value uh, personally uh, more. So uh, before going to office, I could uh, sp spend some time. So and after uh, during the office hours also, I used to schedule so that uh, I could I could spend around uh, one to two, one to one and a half hours. Sometimes it may not be possible. Still, I make it a point to do something during the office hours also to during the lunch hours and all. I do not uh, go for a lot of uh, social gathering inside the office. So I could uh, I could complete at least the paper, newspaper, and the related articles from the office itself, so that I could spend time for my uh, uh, optional and other 
core standard books uh, from the home from home itself so i come back to uh, home by around 7 to 7:30 and uh, in the evening till the evening so uh, normally that is the schedule because uh, office hours can go up to 5:30 6 and uh, coming back to office it it takes around uh, uh, 30 to 1 uh, hour 30 minutes to 1 hour so uh, after 7 o'clock also i i, I try to spend at least 2 to 3 hours uh, for my preparation so, so that was every my every day you have spent 5 to 6 hours uh, five, 5 5 hours at least yeah and your weekends you have spent full day on your full, preparation full day on my preparation particularly for my answer writing and also it requires that 3 uh, hours in a stretch and then feedback on the same evaluation on the same so uh, it was possible only in the weekends weekends, weekends. so you avoided social gatherings unless it is very very important unless it is very 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 very, impo- very good very good because i have seen uh, in many students they are every day ask me question how to how to manage time here is danish he studied 5 hours a day he has a very hectic schedule in nabad as assistant manager and the schedule will be very tight that he will be working throughout the day even in the lunch time he never wastes time in the office that was his schedule see observe He, ca- he goes to office around 9 o'clock, comes to the house around 7 o'clock in the evening. But still he manages to pass civil service exam. He managed to pass. That is superb Danish. Thank you. And uh, tell me, what are the standard books you have studied for preparation? And uh, second thing, students who are doing self-study. Because mm. for everyone it is not possible to come up to Hyderabad or Delhi right. to study. Somebody will be working as a teacher. Mm. as an engineer software mm. and they will be working and studying tell some strategy for them so that they will get into success like you in future uh, madam uh, standard books as uh, as we all know people who are in the preparation mode they all will be knowing the standard books that we are following uh, for history spectrum uh, for polity lakshmi kant uh, for uh, uh, other 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 subjects i used to refer only ncert books that is the uh, core standard books that i have uh, relied upon and plus uh, uh, whatever uh, one standard current affairs uh, module you can follow uh, one, i think one is enough rather than going for many we can focus on one and then analyze on uh, pick uh, topics from there and uh, if something interests you and something if uh, if you think that one of the topics is important then go on researching onto it if you uh, think that uh, the particular material is not giving uh, proper information or proper perspective on a particular subject then go on researching that and identify different article different perspective on that uh, particular subject that was my uh, uh, preparation from the point of view of uh, uh, material study materials uh, then uh, working and uh, then studying uh, this was my uh, day to day schedule i used to have a plan plan like uh, every day every uh, i used to have monthly plan for uh, for uh, for example if it is uh, main stage i used to have a, a broad plan like uh, usually what happens is that uh, before the prelims results come uh, we we kind of uh, lack the kind of motivation or spend we do not spend much time on optional and those things so it is better to start the preparation the next day uh, the prelims uh, exam is over uh, start focusing on certain subjects like ethics and essay where we do not uh, Uh, we do not spend much time after uh, results come or once the exam is uh, uh, closing nearby so it is better to start uh, the preparation with uh, essay and uh, ethics which we there is a chance that we may neglect in the it in the later stages and which are very scoring also essay and ethics and then uh, uh, give uh, i think almost half of our uh, timing i think for mains preparation we should uh, devote for uh, our optional because that is one place where we can study and make a lot of difference so uh, we used to uh, i used to strategize like that uh, half of the time i used to uh, devote only for my optional and its uh, other preparation and uh, other uh, only the half uh, the other half i used to spend on uh, answer writing for gs and for the preparation of that danish i have seen you from last 3 4 years going to the interview every year almost right, right. and you have passed many prelims and mains yes i wish to know what is your strategy for prelims particularly for the students who are going to write this year prelims october 4 what strategy you have actually followed for the last two months that particularly last 40 45 days uh, madam i think uh, for prelims it's very important that uh, we revise the basic standard books that uh, uh, everyone knows the spectrum for history culture some basic books environment one basic book 
so it is very important that we focus on the uh, at least uh, 70 to 80 percent of our time we should focus on the standard books because current affairs it's very difficult to predict uh, so it is it is good to have a good to follow one particular current affairs uh, uh, module or any any coaching institute or any particular book that you are following then it is better uh, but uh, more time i used to focus on uh, basic standard books because my my understanding is that for preliminary stage upsc would like to see people from the rural areas also to qualify for them to facilitate that i think uh, the best strategy for the upsc to adopt is that uh, stick on to the basic books basic ncrt books and uh, try to innovate try to uh, uh, put in questions which are more concept based from the ncrt itself so that uh, everyone has a fair uh, chance to get into the uh, next stage so i think uh, that uh, basic thing is there plus uh, what we can do additionally is uh, solve some question papers uh, solve some test series if you can uh, complete uh, one whole test series paper because uh, usually we see that around 30 to 35 um, question papers will be there for uh, from one particular series so if you can do one whole series during this uh, 30 to 40 days uh, left in our uh, for our uh, preliminary examination then that will be good plus keep on revising don't be don't be uh, don't don't neglect uh, the basic standard books keep on revising that do some uh, uh, test series and uh, uh, follow one single current affairs don't uh, go behind uh, uh, current affairs too much because uh, for the preliminary stage i think uh, this is very important okay you you tell that you have to focus more on st static flows yes okay so danish is advising kindly revise all the static portion at least daily 4 5 hours and danish i wish to know one more uh, answer from you for working in nabad right. and you have very limited time i agree and have you taken any leave before prelims or mains uh, mains uh, i i was lucky enough to get uh, around uh, 26 days of uh, leaves i got that is including the examination day so that uh, uh, boils down to around 2 weeks before the examination started uh, and for the prelim stage i i got uh, i got around uh, one week leave around uh, 7 8 days i got exclusively for prelims pr preparation see danish got one week leave for prelims preparation and 26 days leave for mains preparation including exam days so kindly understand the time we have to write the exam and to pass the exam and normal students who pass their graduation they will get 24 hours of their time in their hands they can utilize their time properly and Danish why you decided to write civil services what motivated you what is your background and uh, uh, I wish to ask you I have seen most of the Kerala aspirants even though they get into civil services even after 10 years of their service they are like same humble, honest and sincere and I wish you that you are going to be the same humble and honest officer in next 10 years also but I wish to know now what motivated you, what is our uh, no, inspiration. Thank you madam. Uh, I think uh, uh, what motivated me uh, during my graduation days only I started thinking about civil service preparation. Uh, so when I thought about a career option, when I thought about uh, taking a job uh, during my graduation, I wanted to do a job that, uh, that keeps me motivated to go to my workplace every day. Uh, and uh, I wanted to do a job that can actually make an impact on the society. So that was the thought process behind uh, uh, choosing civil service profession. And for me personally, it was a personal challenge also. Uh, I was not a very, uh, uh, not a very uh, topper in uh, the school days and also I thought uh, this is one place where I can challenge myself and uh, prove to myself that I can do something uh, that is uh, bigger in life. What is your graduation? My graduation was B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering. Which I did college? from Cochin it's, University. It is not IIT or IIT? It is right? not an IIT or an, oh. even not even an IIT. Okay. Uh, Danish, what are your prelims question, uh, interview questions? Uh, interview questions were uh, more or less uh, from uh, Kerala based questions. Uh, then some international related uh, questions were there. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, some general questions like uh, what are the things that you don't like about Indian society? Uh, what, are the, what are the similarities between Telangana and Kerala? Mm -hmm. And then some, uh, the chairman also asked me some basic questions about uh, my graduation, engineering mm -hmm. related things also. Any questions about Nabad? Uh, not many madam, not many. Very basic questions actually. Mm -hmm. uh, not uh, very analytical questions. Okay. Just the basic job, uh, the profile and all. Okay. That's it.
all the best danish thank you so much madam thank all, you so much for best. all your support that oh. you have given me no, during no. The, all these years no no all the best and uh, see andarki chapdalsukunde entante danish nabard lo work chestu job chestu chaala mandi job chestu chadukodam kashtam antaru tanu ee roju ikkada maatladichina kaaranam entante ujjogam chestu kuda roju ka 5 6 gantlu proper ga plan chestukunte evarkaina success vasthadi దాంతో పాటు తనకి కోచింగ్ తీసుకునే స్కోప్ కూడా లేదు ఎక్కువ ఎందుకంటే డైలీ ఆఫీస్కి వెళ్ళాల్సింది వచ్చి వచ్చిందనమాట ఈవెన్ ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ మాక్ ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ చేయడానికి కూడా టైం సరిపోలేదు సరిగ్గా సో అలాంటి సిచ్యువేషన్ హీ వాజ్ వెరీ అంటే టైం అంతా టఫ్ అయిపోయింది తనకి ఆ టైంలో కూడా తను తను మోటివేట్ చేసుకుని తను కష్టపడి పైకి వచ్చారనమాట అలా డానిష్ జీవితాల్లో మనకి చాలామంది మన లైఫ్లో తన ఆదర్శం ఎందుకు అంటే పని చేస్తూ కూడా సక్సెస్ సాధించవచ్చు అని ఓకే అందరూ తన ఆదర్శంగా తీసుకుంటారని ఉన్న టైం జాగ్రత్తగా యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకుంటారని పోయే టైం గురించి ఆలోచించకుండా ఉన్న టైంలో సక్సెస్ ఎంత ఫాస్ట్గా తెచ్చుకోవచ్చు ఆలోచిస్తారని అనుకుంటున్నాను థ్యాంక్